All right, guys, the time has come now to cut in that radiator support that we did in that last couple of videos ago where we used the spray bomb with the factory OEM color mixed in the can and we went ahead and cut that thing in early. That way we could be ahead of the game for when he was ready to weld it in. We could paint the parts off the vehicle, cut it in, have him build the uh, radiator support condenser and all the fluids and stuff as I'm painting the outside. That way while he's doing that, I'm painting this and he can build it and get it done right. So definitely the way to do it, to plan ahead, see a part, cut it in. While you're painting the outside, they're doing the uh, structure and building the car back together and then the doors are done, the fenders, and they can bolt it back up and this car could be done. So that's the way I like to do it and uh, take advantage of the time. So when you see something like that, get it cut in, maybe use the can if you guys have access to it. And uh, we're just gonna shoot this one here today, get that thing cut in, cause it's now been put in, resistance welded, and I'll show you how nice the cans come in handy now and uh, show you how great they work. So let's go ahead and shoot this job, cut that one in and maximize the day. All right guys, so here's where it was welded on with the resistance welder and a couple of spots where we have to touch it back up now to get it all cut in and uh, make it factory. So you guys remember cutting the outside of this in in the booth and see how it matches up nice to the factory look. We're gonna go ahead and hit this now and get this all finished up. So we'll just hit our green, blend it in. We can get in here nice and easy because it's just the can. So we're gonna blend it and then hit it again with our red like we normally do. So I love these to have this cut in first and then you can just come in here and get it cleaned up and welded up nice. Now we'll come in with our red, dust it in and boom. You got it all blended in nice. Come in here, do our little fade and look at that. And all right, we're all finished up. It's all cut in and now we'll go shoot the parts off and this is the benefit. Pull the parts off the vehicle while the body man's welding on this piece, then you can go ahead and paint the parts and then cut it in and be done. By the time he's ready to build this now, he'll put all the radiator support and everything in the car. And then you can go ahead and he can bolt it back up and he's ready to go. So you get it done quicker, taking it apart, cutting it in, and now you got a nice OE look, so. All right, guys, so on this actual job here, I um, used the P30R, which is a red. I put a little black in it and I'm sealing it with that. And that really works nice with these red jobs because it saves you on materials and gets you right in the ballpark of the color. Look how close that sealer is to that actual color. And this color here is the 138X uh, Chevrolet red metallic, but Definitely a great sealer with that red. I love having the red sealer and I'm like being able to mix that up to get close to the color because it really saves you time and uh, money because you don't have to mix a lot of base up. So we went ahead and cut that one in. You've seen us do that. We let that dry for a little bit and then we went over now and cavity waxed it to make sure everything was treated. That's one of the steps you don't want to forget to cavity wax inside all the holes and right on the weld areas. So now we're basing this out and I'm using the DV1 again. I started using that again since I got used to it the other day and uh, just putting on a nice coat here. We put two coats of the red on of this color and right over the top of that P30R with a little bit of the black, it covered like you wouldn't believe because it was real close to it. So definitely the way to do it when you have the uh, red sealer. And I uh, used to use the red sealers from uh, PPG, they used to have a yellow, blue, and a red, and I could make a lot of sealer colors, and that saved me a lot of time, but they stopped making that stuff, and Sherwin has it, so definitely love that part of Sherwin-Williams. But there's the base. It's got the two coats on it now. We're gonna let it flash, and then we're gonna come in and drop it, and then we're gonna clear it. So we're, we're gonna be clearing this one here with the same clear coat gun that we usually use that I've been using lately. But here's the drop coat. We just went nice and easy with a drop coat. 
let it flash and then we came in and cleared it so i'm liking the dv1 it's definitely a great gun you guys know i like that gun but uh putting on the base and then coming in with the clear coat so definitely the way to do those jobs is cut in the parts that way you don't you can get to all the areas nice and easy because you guys know as well as i do when you have those core supports already welded in it it's hard to get to all the areas and that way we did it it definitely saves time and it's easier and comes out nice so we went ahead here now and we're putting the two coats of the clear on it and this job came out nice and clean as usual real happy with it and like i said now as i'm actually finishing this up the body man is doing his part with the radiator condenser button up all his wires and then by the time he's ready for these parts i'll have this thing ready for him so the body men like that when you you can uh, give them their parts back quick and they could stay on a job from start to finish and get it done because otherwise they got to bring it over cut it in you know build it then get it back paint it and to me this is the best way of doing it the one-time paint job and uh comes out nice so once you get used to the body men and they get used to you and they know you'll give them the car back quick they don't mind taking off parts because they know that they're going to actually make more money also because their car is going to be back to them quick and they don't have to wait to see it back from the paint shop so work with your body men you know build communication with them and they'll definitely help you out because it'll help them out and it'll help everybody out in the end everyone will make more money the jobs will come out nicer and everybody wins on that so hope you guys like this video here i wanted to show you this thing after i had had them welded in and then show you that little can because that can was in the last video but it worked well and i'm definitely going to keep using them so hope you guys like this video hit subscribe hit the bell check out candyland.com if you guys want some nice shirts and if you need anything else and you got any suggestions let me know Thank you.